Five, five more minutes, all right? Five more minutes, then I'm getting you out, okay? Good. He did not just jump his electric skateboard. He sure did, and I needed to know how, so I asked YouTube. And it had these bindings on the board, just like how you have bindings on a normal skateboard. And with those bindings, you were able to do jumps because the board was attached to your feet. Well, Ryan, that sounds awesome. But where do we get them? I tried the Summerboard website, but all they sell are the pads. So I went on the New Zealand Freeboard website, so they're out of stock. I tried the Europe website, out of stock. US website doesn't even list bindings. Finally, I found a third party selling them called the eSkate Shop. But again, I'm left disappointed and saddened as a helpless victim of the global half hook binding shortage. As I frantically searched for alternatives, I stumbled across a whole community of other bindingless eSkaters and discovered this has been happening since 2018. That's three years of no half hooks. No wonder the world's such a messed up place right now. Anyway, looks like we're going to have to make our own. Curious motor.
So that's them all installed. Real stuff. And they seem pretty solid. They fit good. So just lined them up the best I could, then drilled the holes where the trucks mount and got some longer bolts. Not very happy with the finish, but this is just a test model. So we've already got version two underway. So stay tuned for that one. Otherwise, I'll probably just ride them for a while, see how they feel, and then uh, try and break them, see where the weak point is for version two. And then, holy crap, I left the kids in the spa. Oh my God, what was I thinking? I said I'd be five minutes. Damn this DIY addiction. Oh my God, are you guys all right? Are you okay? Yeah. Are you hungry? Yeah. It's been two days. Where's your mum? Yeah.